Hello everybody. So with the holidays in a few short weeks, um, today's speaking club video is going to be on vacation opportunities. So as always, this is the Young Gok English Speaking Club expressing your opinions about your daily life. So now we have a very complicated but famous English quote and that says a year from now you will have wished you had started today and that is by Karen Lam. So I've got a Korean translation but I don't think it translates very well. So basically what that means is that if you can start working on a project that will help you in the future then it is nicer to start now when you can instead of in the future because in the future if you have not done the project if you have not started you will have wished that you started months ago or a long time ago i hope that makes sense so now the reason why I think that's important is that we have three words that I want to focus on as to why don't we start our important projects, do the important work now instead of tomorrow or next week or next month or next year. So the first word is procrastination, a very complicated word. So pro uh, so I think the Papago says um, So I've got a comic to show you an example. So the person sits down, he decides we are going to work. And so he has his phone and it distracts him. He gets a message. So distraction, Jui Sanman. And then it starts by looking at a message and then you go on to Instagram or Snapchat or YouTube and you get distracted and you decide I'm going to do the work later and I'm going to do this now. So procrastination is when you have an important job but you do it later because you want to do something fun and easy now. Okay, so that's procrastination. Another way, reason why we don't do our um, important jobs now is lazy. So for example, the comic, um, get up, we have to do, we have a million things to do. Then the heart says, why would we do a million things when we can do zero things? So that is being lazy. And the last one is why we don't start things now is because they are difficult. And there is a lot of work and it requires a lot of time. So we would rather not do that now. We just want stress-free, easy time to relax. So when it comes to school times, our weekdays are often very busy. So on Monday, we have to study and write essays and do work. Tuesdays, we have projects. Wednesdays, more lessons and speeches and essays. And so we don't have time to start and do the things that we want to do, that are fun. But when it comes to vacation, we have a lot of free time. Not all of our time is free, but we have more free time than we do when we are at school or at work. So from there, you can choose what to do with your free time. Do you want to do nothing and relax, which is perfectly fine, but you can also do anything now that you have time. So the activity that I want you to do is talk about 
a new thing you can or will do during the vacation period. So my examples are you can talk about starting a new hobby, something simple like learning how to knit or learning any skill. Um, you can start by doing something that you've wanted to do for a long time but it is difficult and takes a lot of time. So for example, you can start a YouTube channel. Um, you can learn a new skill such as photography. Um, or you can spend time reading books that you want to but you don't have enough time. Um, or you can watch some long movies that you can't or you can just spend more time with your friends and family. These are all great things to do now that you have more free time. So the due date is the 31st of July, so this Friday, and you can submit it to Inboxam, and I look forward to hearing what you can or will do during the holidays. Until then, I hope you're having a good day. Bye-bye.